can you be corrupt and not face criminal charges? That's what everyone's asking about former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian. Today's finding by the corruption watchdog, a crushing blow for the once loved and squeaky clean leader. So has Gladys been dragged down by her bad boyfriend or did she know it was wrong? After a warts and all investigation, finally, we know. I regarded him as a smart part of my love circle. I've always put the interests of the public first and foremost. I have no option but to resign from the office of Premier. The former darling of the Premiers, the voice of reason during those COVID border spats, Gladys Berejiklian will forever be known as a corrupt state leader. The last month has been an extremely difficult one. Corruption watchdog ICAC's long-awaited report tabled to New South Wales Parliament. This right now is a live shot of State Parliament in Sydney. Such was the anticipation, a bland, stuffy room beamed live around the nation. The outcome scathing. ICAC sensationally finding Berejiklian engaged in corrupt conduct. Shooting herself in the foot over a gun club and a recital hall funnelling government funds to projects in her secret boyfriend's electorate, disgraced ex-Wagga Wagga MP Daryl McGuire without disclosing their relationship. And, and that's where I think everything went wrong. Joe Alha says he's Daryl McGuire's best mate. He was closer than most to the couple's clandestine courtship. Ah, oh, there are a few occasions, but yeah, this in particular occasion, there was very intimate and yeah. <laughs> He really loved the Premier and, you know, I know that now, you know, personally. El Haas, also the tainted Sydney building developer, dragged into this embarrassing affair by corruption watchdog investigators. You know, being alongside the Premier, wines, drinks, drop-ins, the way it was played out, she look really bad. In the colourful world of building development, where deals are made and foundations are laid, Daryl Maguire provided his best mate, El Ha, direct access to his lover, Gladys. There was other instant on another night that now it brings me back to, you know, they did have a giggle and a laugh. And, and when you look back at it and you know what you know now, you see things from a different angle. ICAC investigators saw and heard everything. Hello. Hi, Oki. What are you doing? I just got home. The lover's dirty laundry lay bare in secret phone recordings. You sound very excited in your voice. What's happened today? The calls reveal who wore the pants in their relationship. Glad, even when you are the Premier, I'm the boss, all right? Yes, I know. The more they listened, the wider the investigation became. You know, they could be taping your conversation with me right now. The pillow talk couldn't be ignored. I believed him when he said he hadn't done anything wrong. An investigation into Berejiklian made public. The Premier falling on her sword in 2021. That is the ICAC's prerogative. Resigning at this time is against every instinct in my being and something which I do not want to do. Developer Joe Alha says there's many victims of this tryst and he believes he could be one of them. His mega apartment and retail complex in Sydney's southwest was shelved shortly after Daryl told Gladys investigators were looking into the Wagga MP's deals. Oh my God, it was just crazy. Just make sure you take your lawyer's advice. Days after this phone call, the Berejiklian government scrapped its much-hyped Sydenham to Bankstown new housing corridor where our Haas complex was to be built, raising questions for the developer. What do you want to know from Gladys? Well, did you cancel the Sydney and the Bankstown Corridor strategy based on your boyfriend or, or Daryl telling you about ICAC and destroying people's lives. At the time, the cancellation was blamed on political and community pressure. But the surprise backflip left developers and speculators like Al Ha paying millions in holding costs for land they couldn't build on. Well, that, is that the problem that I'm faced with because of a relationship? Land acquisition and speculation is always a risky game. Sometimes the Monopoly board is not always your friend. 
South West Sydney better housing advocate Royden Ng has been critical of the cosy relationships developers enjoyed with Gladys Berejiklian's office. I think um, Joel Ha probably would be upset that he got caught. I would suspect that there may be many more property developers that have made their way in and out of uh, the Premier's boardroom that have uh, escaped the lenses of the camera. ICAC cleared Al Har of any wrongdoing. His mega complex now in the hands of the local Canterbury Bankstown Council. But nothing's happening. When you clear this and you still don't have a permit to build, yeah. what are you going to do with it? I'll put a flock of sheep over here and people can pat sheep. What are we going to do with it? Strategic land, positioned well, ready to deliver housing. And it seems there's degrees of corruption. Daryl Maguire, corrupt enough to now have to answer to police. What a nightmare, my goodness. As if I need that land with all the troubles that I've got. But ICAC says Gladys Berejiklian may be corrupt, but she's not corrupt enough to warrant further investigations. In a written statement, Berejiklian said, At all times I have worked my hardest in the public interest. The report is currently being examined by my legal team. Just where that leaves the former Premier, who's now in a plum executive gig with Optus, is unclear. Barrister Margaret Keneen SC, a former Crown prosecutor, had her own run-in with the ICAC. Her son's girlfriend was involved in a car accident and Margaret was then accused of trying to influence the police investigation. She took the Corruption Commission to the High Court and won, clearing her name and her reputation. She joins me now. Margaret, what do you make of today's findings? Well, poor Ms Berejiklian is in a halfway house now, Ali. She is not exonerated and she's not referred to a proper court. Because I think this is the thing that's left most people confused today. So they found her to be corrupt, but not corrupt enough to face criminal charges. And I think most of us are asking, well, hang on, is there a sliding scale of corruption? Shouldn't it be black and white? Well, it seemed rather confusing because th the emphasis was put on serious corruption. Now, if corruption is that serious, surely it constitutes a crime. So today ICAC has declared that the former Premier did nothing criminal mm. and yet applies this adjective of serious corruption. Mm. But there is no real appeal against the opinion of, of ICAC, but Premier Minns might, uh, I think, and his government will, I think, have the courage to institute an exoneration pro protocol. If ICAC turns out to be wrong and the person isn't corrupt at all, they should be exonerated and ICAC not permitted to leave that on their website. And Premier Minns has the power to do that? He does, and, and I think the courage and, and the decency Look, she wasn't taking money under the table, but she did turn a blind eye to what her boyfriend was doing. That is a breach of the public's trust. It, it, that, that's what ICAC has found. Uh, if, if she did know that, ICAC has had to determine that she did know. And, and one asks oneself... But I think we hear that in the phone taps where he mentions things and she says, oh, that's something I don't need to know about. Yes, and that could be uh, one explanation. She, she may have another that she just uh, had tuned out because she was too busy. Now, uh, that, that's another explanation which obviously ICAC doesn't accept. Mm. And, and as you say, it wasn't so that she could line her own pockets. Mm. Um, most of the other states hold their corruption hearings in private. Should New South Wales do the same or is the public's right to know more important? Well, what is the public learning? Sometimes I, I hear ICAC saying it's, it's educative, it's, 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 it's teaching people. But if they're getting it wrong as often as they are, and they have, mm. uh, then, then people are learning the wrong lesson. The, the but if we want you know, honesty and, and integrity in politics, isn't it important that that process is open and transparent? Well, perhaps parts of it should be. But, for example, in this case, there, there is no reason why that prurient investigation into the, the extent of the personal relationship couldn't have been held mm. in camera and then just a finding, a discreet finding made that uh, we all agree there was this relationship. No, no male Premier has ever had to undergo that. And, and this is the, the first 
a female premier who has been uh, was was elected by popular vote, and this is this is how she's been treated, uh, a role model for. Do you think it's fair though children? to assume that that she's been treated this way because she is female? She was premier of the state, and we do hold our politicians to a high standard, or we should. Yes, we do. Well, of course we should. I, I can just imagine that all the politicians now are racing for the uh, uh, racing to declare all of their. Uh, relationships short of marriage, uh, just in case this comes up. Today, uh, Glasbury Jicklian thanked the public for their support and said, this will sustain me always, but is the public's love enough to keep her corporate career? Can you be a high flyer and corrupt? That, of course, will be a matter for her employers because everyone m makes mistakes and perhaps n none more so than when there may be some uh, romantic interest involved. And uh, if, if, if we're looking for a perfect human being with no absolutely no moral failings, well, we'll be looking a long time. I think she has a lot of support. I think a lot of people look at it and say she's made some terrible decisions, the main one being she had a really bad boyfriend. Yes, well, it seems that that's definitely the case. But Margaret, she's an incredibly smart woman. I'm sure there must have been part of this that she knew was wrong. Well, she says she, says she didn't. Mm. And um, many people will trust her and believe her. So you were dragged into an ICAC investigation. You know the effect this can have on yourself and on your family. How might Gladys be feeling right now? Well, it's, a, it's just a dreadful thing. You don't have any control over the time of it. If you're charged with murder or terrorism, at least you've got a, a court timetable and you know that you'll go before a jury of your peers and you can put your side and everything has to be proved beyond reasonable doubt in the public sphere. So do you think the Corruption Commission brought down a good woman, a good politician, unfairly? I, I think that history will come to that view. Well, she's got a lot of support out there. Appreciate your time, Margaret. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali.